Thanks for staying with us. So, pandemonium erupted at Araromi Ilugbo Secondary School in Okwafo, Lagos, as pupils of the school protested the demise of one of their colleagues who was allegedly flogged hmm. to death by a teacher. The incident was said to have occurred on Thursday uh, when the deceased, identified as David Babadipo, was allegedly flogged by the teacher whose name was given as Oluwale. Really, really painful story. Uh, the video was, uh, went out on, on Friday, and uh, the voice in the background could be heard narrating that the deceased people wanted to go out to purchase something when he was allegedly flogged by the teacher. Uh, really, really sad. So let me start with you, Neymar. I mean, this is, a very, this, this is one of those situations where there's really no two sides to this story. Yeah. No matter what happens, the teacher so was I'm, obviously I'm wondering how did he even flog the child to death? You know, one stroke or a thorough punishment, use one cane, bring 10 k, hold him, hands out, uh, spread him on the table. What kind of beating did he think, you know, do to this child? But as it is now, we have a manslaughter possible charge against mm. him. He will be chilling on vacation. Inside the cell. Inside the cell while waiting. So other teachers should start to think more constructive ways to correct a child. There are very, very many constructive ways, which is one of the most important of all is to mentor that child. You know, a child who looks up to you, who finds something to look up to, will not disrespect you. But this uh, fast way, the shortest way is to beat, 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 which uh, teachers do, should, you know, and even parents too, should I'll be reported. that by the reports. If they're here, there's another person on Facebook says that, uh, let me see if they have a name. A Facebook user, Esther, also refuted the claim that the people was flogged to death Adding, the, adding that the name of the teacher given was that of the school's vice principal. So Mr. Mm -hmm. Oluwale is the vice principal. Uh, he didn't beat him for not paying attention in class. According to this Facebook user, Esther, that child has been sick since Tuesday and the parent didn't take him to the hospital. It got worse yesterday after, after the break and they called mm -hmm. his parents to come pick him up. Uh, well, we don't know the so details. So the yeah. government has actually um, requested for an investigation to be carried out to know exactly the root cause of this death. They will do an autopsy. I know that Nigerians, when we hear of stories of a child being beaten to death mm -hmm. or some, this, anything that causes a child to die, we no longer reason or follow whatever the autopsy comes up with. We will follow social media um, reports. <laughs> Please, I would like to... My heart goes out to the family. Nobody wishes this to happen to their child. And I would want us to wait to get okay. the autopsy results. Mm. And let us talk based on the autopsy results. So, so that we are not... Because I remember the story. They just buried um, Sylvester over, yes, the weekend, over the weekend. And the, it still came up on social media. And they are saying, oh, the autopsy is a lie. It was manipulated. Two different autopsy results lied. Mm -hmm. So that the government can be free. No. Let us... Put our emotions, okay. yes, feel your emotion, but let us take the autopsy result. But I want to discuss the flogging, you know, because I was flogged. I was flogged and flogged and flogged. Black, uh, so what, what, we're packing this issue, yes. right? We're not saying, we're, we're not, not, we're not, sure, we're of not sure of the facts. Yeah. So we're it packing it, now we're going to the flogging in general. Even did was flogging. Mm. Okay, let's go to that. So for me, flogging is the lowest hanging fruit. Flogging is a frustration way of expressing, is a way of expressing the frustration of the parent, the teacher, at an action carried out by a minor. Ah, we are called one dictionary. <laughs> because I have been, as, with the level of enlightenment I have exposed myself to, when my children act out and I find myself wanting to take out the whip or take out the, I have to check myself to say, are you, what, why do you want to, would this, this is a way of me easing my frustration, not necessarily correcting that child. And if we look back to all the history of flogging that has taken place, it is easing frustration, not correcting the child. So here's what I did the last time it happened in my house. So my son now has understood how to scrub and mop on a punishment kind of level. Every living, every room, every floor space in my house and every wall space in the bathroom was washed by my son over the weekend, like on Saturday and Sunday, twice, everywhere as punishment because I wanted to beat him. It was a major, what he did was bad. <laughs> I was vibrating. And I said, no, I'll not beat you. It's escape, because if I beat you, you will cry and that's it. But you, you are gonna sweep this house to stupor and you will scrub this house to stupor. <laughs> so he did that and he I achieved somebody. 
it. Because when <laughs> he finished what this one, I told him, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. I made him understand, why did you do this? I called him, why did you do this? When I showed up yesterday, I told him, why did you do this? So he understood it. But flogging would have helped me to release my pent-up frustration on the fact that he did not obey me while not achieving the goal of correcting him from getting mm. the message. That's so teachers do that yeah. a lot in school. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to now find what can I do to this boy mm. that will get him or to this girl that I have boys. So I'm using an example of boys. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, I grew up being flogged every day at home and in school. There's no day I don't collect. <laughs> you were collecting back to back. I was collecting at home and in school every day. Like, that's my childhood memory. Wow. If there's no day they don't beat me at home, and then the teacher will flog me in school. And um, I remember one of the flogging I received, I was sick for a week afterwards, because this English teacher, I can never forget her. Uh, at the time, she wasn't married, she didn't have any child, and she was already old, getting old at, at, at that time. And so um, everybody just saw her as a very wicked person because of the way she would squeeze your stomach. Ah, yes. It was her form of... Uh, she was an English teacher. I don't want to call the name of the school. Squeeze your stomach. From or the you, Nevel, Yes, from the Nevel. Squeeze that, before, that stomach. Is, is, she will hold you to her thighs and squeeze. You will be screaming. Yeah. Yes, that was her form of punishment at the time. Hmm. And then this particular day, I, I can't even remember exactly what I did. Because you see what punishment does when it's given in frustration. Even the child cannot remember what mm. the child is being punished for. I can't tell you exactly what I did today, but I remember that punishment. She used a very long stick, flogged me so much. I had like those very Gosh. large marks. My skin was torn and I went home and um, I was sick for a week before I resumed. Wow. Yes, I, I can't even remember why my father didn't go and fight. <laughs> I think something. Because he would have usually gone to fight. God of mercy, you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't. You don't, you don't want to try that man. But uh, he he didn't go, and I just resumed school, and everything was back to normal. I just knew to avoid that particular teacher. Uh, the lesson here is just like Tokwe has said rightly. A, a flogging and corporal punishment is lazy parenting mm -hmm. and lazy coaching and lazy teaching because you're not deploying your brain. And that's why you raise young people who are not able to communicate their emotions mm. and handle themselves in society. Mm. Everything resorts to beating. You see people park in, on the streets. On, in, uh, in traffic when yes. a car road hits rage. another car, road rage, and they're fighting, they're beating because that's all they know. That's all they have been raised to solve problems. And so their schools, which are not government schools, that have banned corporal punishment. There are okay. schools that Lagos you State dare government not. school has banned it also, just for your information. Yeah, but this yeah, yeah, allowed. Yeah, but it, okay, I don't know. Yeah, it's not allowed I know about them. private schools that have banned any form of beating. And see, if the child upsets you, send him to the naughty corner, send him out of class, yeah. and find a way to have a conversation with that child. Yeah. Sometimes what we call annoying is not annoying. Children will be children. Children will be goofy. What? Children will play. Children will make noise in class. Some of us were considered talkatives in mm. class. Well, this is where, no, listen, you know, this is where the talkativeness has landed me. Oh, I'm this, using yeah. it to earn a living today. But you imagine a child not being allowed to express at the time. So you just need to but the find Bible ways. Says, the Bible says, spare the rod and spoil the well, child. The rod of well, correction this, this is necessarily not this flogging. Was and not even, flogging. If he was, if, even if correction was flogging, how do you flog? This child is 16, so let's assume he's dealing with teenagers and we know how they can be. Yeah. But he, they said he was sick. Even that excuse should not have discouraged, shouldn't have discouraged the teacher from continuing. Or I must say, I don't want us to go back to that because no, we don't have no, the facts no, yet. No, okay, this, no, this one, the fact yeah. that we have is that we don't have the fact whether he was, while he was being beaten, he died. died. Yes, we don't know that. He yet. was sick, that his friend said. He was beaten, that is a fact. He died, another fact. Whether they all happened <laughs> together <laughs> to lead to what, it's know. not a fact. Okay. So we cannot say that. But we know a child who was sick, should he have been beaten? No, Bad he enough. shouldn't have. And there are several other ways. We know young people lie, young teenagers can say, I'm not feeling fine as an excuse to escape their duties. But what do you do as a parent? On Friday, I was just just in BC and the ladies here on my son that that one that cannot be beaten on how we <laughs> solved issues. So, and such a person, when you speak to them, this morning, JJJ just carried this bag. I wanted to, I said, please don't delay me. I'm sorry, mommy, but I'm not comfortable <laughs> in my shoes. I said, okay, you can just manage it. Mm. You get to your mom's house, go and pull your shoe and sort it out. But instead of uh, delaying, 
we've gotten somewhere, yeah. usually before, beating. But we're not achieving anything. So teachers, how do you w spend time knowing? I always say to schools, let me know if you are trying to correct my child and it is a problem. Don't beat my child. But okay, don't now. beat my child, kill for me. Thank God, beg you. We have to go on a break. I think we're, we're going to wrap up on this mm. issue because, and the reason why we're wrapping up is because oh, we're waiting for the investigation to come with the death of this young boy mm. and then we'll bring up the issue of beating because it's a, it's a continuous School. conversation. Yes. Yes. Parental and even school, the guardians in school, they, some parents think it's okay to beat. I know somebody who is very confident in having his children being beaten. By other, other people. By other people. Yeah. The others are saying that they don't like it. So we'll see, have that conversation another day. But let's go on a break. When we come back up to bring in our uh, guest for this morning. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.